In this video, we're going to show you the new Golden Companion four-wheel scooter, so stay tuned. Right here we have the new GC440. This just came out uh, not that long ago and they've made some enhancements. So if you've used to the GC440, this is going to be similar, um, but there are going to be some advancements that they put on this unit, so we're going to go over that with you. Um, now this scooter is a 400 pound weight capacity that's going to go up to 5 miles an hour and up to 19 miles per charge. So pretty good distance. Um, now you are able to get 35 amp batteries or upgrade to 40 amp batteries on this unit. Um, the seat can come standard with an 18 inch wide seat or you're able to go up and purchase a larger 20 inch wide seat as well. Now do remember when you go with a larger seat, your armrests are probably gonna be wider than what the specs say online. So with this 20 inch seat here, you're at about 25 inches in overall width. Now the specs online are gonna say 24 and a half inches. That's gonna be at your wheelbase. Um, but do know you're going to be a little bit wider, not much wider, but you'll be a little bit wider if you do go with a 20 inch seat. Now the arms do expand out, so if you are, you know, somewhat of a heavier set individual and you want to say, hey, I need that 20 inch seat, but I want to be more than 19 and a half inches in between the arms, in the back of the unit, there's going to be knobs down here that you can twist and you can adjust the width of the arms and you're also able to adjust the height of the armrest depending on how short or how tall you are. And the armrests are going to flip up as well for easy access. Now the overall length of this unit is about 48 inches in overall length. So this will fit on like a Harmar AL100 or any other type of manual platforms that they have out there. Now this is gonna take about a 56 inch turning radius. Um, so it's not terrible for a four wheel scooter, but obviously it's not gonna be something you're gonna to wanna to use in small compact spaces. Now on the GC440, you are able to, at the time of purchase, buy this with a six inch elevating seat lift. It's an electric seat lift or you can get like an air piston put in there, which is kind of like a, like a chair in an office where you have to kind of take your weight off, but you can adjust it up and down six inches as well. But so you are able to get the standard seat post or you can get it with the uh, air seat lift or you can get it with the electric seat lift. Now I do believe when you go with either one of those seat lift options, you are gonna sit about two inches higher overall in height when you add one of those seat lift options to the unit. So well, the measurements I'm gonna give you here are gonna be with the standard seat uh, with no uh, extra seat post function. You're going to be about 18 and a half inches top of the seat to the ground and then if you were to go, I'm sorry, top of the seat to the uh, floorboard and if you're going to go all the way down to the ground you're going to be about uh, 26 inches top of the seat to the ground. So do know if somebody is going to try to swivel and get in this unit um, you're going to be 26 inches top of the seat to the ground. And the only time that make an issue is some people try to use a slide board to go to a commode or to transfer into a chair and back. Just know you're 26 inches top of the seat to the ground. So this seat does swivel. It does lock every 45 degrees if you let go of the handle. And on the other side over here in the front, it's easier to do if you're sitting in the unit. But right here, you also can adjust the seat forward and backwards. The armrests are going to stay where they're at, but the seat is actually going to slide. Now, the floorboard deck on this is about 19 inches wide, but I do know when you go with the bigger seat, you lose a little bit of floorboard space. So actual usable space, and I'll show you in a video overlay here in a minute, you're gonna be about 12 and a half to 13 inches. So I'll show you, I wear a size 12 shoe, what I kind of look like on this in a minute. Um, but I like to kind of give people that reference because a lot of companies will almost measure the whole floorboard deck space, which is 16 inches. But if your seat overhangs, you're not really gonna wanna bend your legs backwards. So. I try to look at it as more actual usable space, which is probably gonna be somewhere in that 12 to 13 inch range. Now, what they did with this unit that is different than other units, you can see the design is different and they did come out with a different color. So they do come in red, blue, and now this metallic looking silver. Um, so it is a different looking front end, but the lights, uh, headlights, tail lights, all those are gonna look the same. I mean, I'll turn those on and I'll kind of show you the headlight um, here in the video. Um, and you're also going to have tail lights, which will show you in a video overlay when your lights are on. Now, the cool thing that they did is they have a digital display up here now that's going to actually show, right now it's showing 25.1 volts and 100% charge. So you're going to have the actual numerical number, and then you're going to have a picture of a battery that's going to also show you where you're at on charge. So that's going to be great for individuals that are maybe have to call in to get a warranty on their batteries. Um, we're gonna be able to tell what your voltage drops is by basically you filming it and we'll tell you how to do it and we can tell you whether or not it's a battery issue or something else. Um, now, when they made the change as well, 
They put two built-in cup holders in here, which is really nice. People always want to carry a drink around with them. So you're going to have one on either side of the tiller. Now your mirrors are standard on the unit um, and they will attach as so. What makes Golden really nice is this type of handle right here. So when you're sitting in the scooter, a lot of times on a lot of other scooters, you have to bend over forward or come over here to adjust the tiller. What you can do at Golden is you can grab onto the handlebars, squeeze this extra lever, and now you can adjust this towards you. You don't have to pull hard to go back. It's basically gonna go, all you gotta do is squeeze that and let it begin to rise and it will go back up automatically. All units are gonna come with a front basket and you are able to purchase additional accessories for the rear docking device, which we'll show you in the video overlay where you can get rear baskets, cane holder, walker holders, and many other uh, accessories that you may need. Now these tires are a little over 10 and a half inches in height and the overall width of this tire is about three and a half inches. So it is a nice wide tire. So for somebody that's saying, hey, I wanna take this out and about, I wanna drive this around, this is gonna be a little bit better um, on non-paved surfaces because of the width of the tire. And if you look up here in the front, this is an addition that they added to this as well. You actually have front and rear suspension on the scooter. Um, you can see them in the front and in the back, they're gonna be kind of harder to access. Um, but in the rear of the scooter, they're basically on either side of the motor. So right up here on either side of the wheel, you're gonna have the two shocks in the front and the two shocks in the back. Now that used to be an additional optional upgrade. Now that is gonna be standard on all of these units moving forward. This particular unit does have a two and a half inch motor ground clearance. That's gonna be your lowest ground, uh, lowest height on the scooter is gonna be right at your rear transaxle and that's gonna be two and a half inches. That is a popular question that we do get asked quite a bit on this unit. If you need to put this scooter in freewheel to push it for any reason, we recommend turning the key off because it will beep at you. And back here in the back of the unit, if you pull this yellow lever towards you, now it's disengaged. So if for any reason it's throwing out a fault code or the unit's died on you, you are able to put this unit in freewheel and push this unit around. Now this unit's not easily broken apart, but it is able to take the seat off take the batteries out and break the frame in half. If you did need to transport this unit, it is possible. Don't look at this like as an easy travel chair like you might have on some smaller scooters, but you are able to do that and we'll show you that in a video overlay here as well. So now if you want, go ahead and we're gonna follow me outside. I'm gonna sit in this unit. Like I said, I'm six foot tall, 220 pounds. And you can kind of get a reference of what I look like sitting in this unit. This is the GC340 by Golden Technologies. This is their four wheel unit that has got a 400 pound weight capacity. You can see that it's got nice 10 and a half inch tall tires by about three and a half inches wide. You can see I'm six foot tall, 220 pounds, kind of for reference of what I look like sitting on this unit. It's kind of early, we're talking about reference of uh, usable floorboard space. Most people are not gonna wanna tuck their legs back like that. So this is kind of what you're looking like with a size 12 shoe, which you'd be sitting and looking like. Now you can kick your feet up here if you want. You could put your feet up here um, and stretch your legs out. This is a solid plastic. Now, I mean, I wouldn't recommend, you know, stomping on this if you were a heavy set or standing up on this, um, but you are able to rest your feet here. I mentioned earlier in the video, the adjustable tiller. This is very nice. Um, you got your two built-in cup holders. Um, so go ahead and follow us over here in the grass and you'll just kind of see, I'll show you, this can kind of go a lot of different terrains. Here's the GC340, so you can see, you know, this has got some good roots, this has got some good terrain over here, um, and the unit handles well. It's actually pretty comfortable. I mean, it's not the highest end scooter that they make, but you can see, I mean, that's a good little couple inch root that I went over there. Um, so if you have terrain like this outside, you kind of want to go around your yard, as long as it's not St. Augustine grass, um, you know, take a look at the GC440, this might be a great option for you. Hi, I'm Mark. And my name is Alex. We're co-owners of Mark's Mobility. I started this company in 1995. We sell many products, not just what you see in this video. If you have any questions or concerns, please call us at the number below at 800-677-6293. Thank you and have a wonderful day.